Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss components of acceleration and to discuss the material derivative. So components of acceleration, essentially what these are, are the scalar components in the x, y and z direction for our total acceleration here. So a couple of videos ago we determined this equation for total acceleration and that depended on a component of local acceleration, um, the acceleration in terms of time and a convective acceleration, the acceleration um, at a certain point um, in terms of x, y and z. Um, we can split this up into components in the x, y and the z direction um, and we've just replaced this velocity which is made up um, of um, x, y, z and time and just replaced it with the corresponding component that we're looking at. So in the x direction we're looking at u um, and the y direction v and the z direction w. So we can actually rewrite our acceleration in terms of our components in their scalar form as a vector. So essentially um, what that's going to give us is the acceleration is going to be equal to ax i plus ay j plus az k. So there we've got um, our acceleration in terms of the components in the x, y and z direction now as a vector. So the next thing I wanted to look at is the material derivative. Now essentially what this allows us to do is determine the rate of change of a fluid property with time. So we're not just interested in acceleration, we're sometimes also interested in maybe the change in temperature with time or maybe